Welcome to episode 82 of Gintama. Last time we finished up the Yagyu arc, so I have no idea what we're getting. The preview showed some interesting character designs. I wasn't reading the subtitles or paying close attention to the preview just because I don't want to be spoiled on anything, but just from the little snips that I saw, some interesting looking things, so I have no idea what's going to happen. We just had a our longest arc so far, so we'll probably have some episodic stuff for a little while. So let's uh, get into it. We're going to watch and discuss the episode. Got the subtitles and the timer on screen if you want to follow along that way, or you can pull up the episode on the side. But either way, let's get into it in three, two, one, play. Starting straight off with the OP. So while that's playing, let me say that if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel. Gintama comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays with other videos every single day of the week. Also, check out the description down below for links to Twitter and Discord if you want to hang out there. And Patreon, where you can support the channel, get these videos early, get polls where you can vote for what shows I'm going to watch, and vlogs that will never be on YouTube. Thank you so much. So yeah, like, um, at the time I'm recording this, episode 82, my immediate access patrons are going to get it right after I finish recording it, and I believe episode 70 is the one that just went up on YouTube yesterday. So, Patreon is a fair amount ahead on that front. But yeah. So now Kiyube is here as part of the story. See how often she shows up. But I just expect some goofy, funny stuff for at least a few episodes. I like not knowing what to expect going into Gintama. I enjoy the arcs, but I also like the surprise of random bullshit. Orochin? Aw, oh, shit! Oh, I remember her from, like, episode 13 or something. The one that they kept saying was like a pig, even her own dad. She was into the drugs from those aliens, or some such. Those aliens. <laughs> the only aliens in Gintama. Elizabeth! It doesn't. I like bread. Rice is fine. They're fine. They get a ton of exercise. They're involved in shonen fights. They'll be okay. Do something. Absurd. Yeah, you gotta go out and get it. Or, the TV will tell you. We gotta go catch a monster. It's like the beetle hunting, except more serious. Are they chimera ants? Most likely. Whoa, holy shit. Yeah, they're, uh, what the hell's going on there? This, uh, this seems like it could be an entire arc. This seems like a big threat. <laughs> But, uh... Yeah, this seems like a really big deal. But it's probably gonna be totally ridiculous. I don't know. We'll see what happens. A golden carrot? Radish. How much is that shit worth? Oh, he's... He's very, very distressed. You don't line up for ramen. I didn't even get to finish reading that. You line up for something else. <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, Dragon Quest parodies. How are they supposed to help you? I guess they'll just go up to the mountain. Yeah. That's definitely a Dragon Quest reference. I recognize the headband thing. Like, you called for everybody to come help you, and then people came, and you told them to leave. Maybe it was a test. To only make sure the best of the best stick around. 
Well, they're going home too, though. Whoa, more gold and stuff. Oh shit, some of them have been defeated? And they turn into gold. I remember seeing that in the preview. They turned into something. Okay, so that's what happened. They found out that that was the case, and so they're like, Shit, no, uh, never mind, go home. Sneaky little bastard. <laughs> Hilarious. No, I can't. Luckily, they're the only ones who heard it. Everybody else, all those randoms left. What? Got some roaring. Oh, hello. Is he tiny? It's a teeny little one. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> his little, he's little trying to roar. Oh, look. Oh, that's that was pathetic. That was really sad. <laughs> he, he was so easy to kill. It feels very video gamey though, just because they they drop gold. Yeah, Kintama. Um, so I uh, not gonna feel too bad for them because of the the uh, goofy presentation. Not like the bear Masamune or whatever. That was just sad. When they turn into gold, it's more fun. Oh yes. Whoa! We haven't really seen much of Prince Hata lately, I don't think. He was in that one recap episode, <laughs> and, um, voicing Takasugi. <laughs> Gotta get those golden balls as big as possible from the mama. Bam. Fucking epic combo attack. Okay. Yeah, look at all that. Look at our reward. That's badass. There's gotta be a catch, though, with, uh, with those... Going to be like leprechaun gold from Harry Potter. It disappears after a few hours. Or it turns into chocolate or something. I don't remember. This man is over here freaking the fuck out. They don't care at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck it. Alright, they are... They've got their mission. They've tasted success, and they want more. This guy just wants one as a pet. I like her design, weirdly. I don't know, I like the glasses, like the eye shape, like the... G. Gray Man, oh. Okay, the hair swirl. I don't know, I liked her face for some reason. Maybe she'll show back up. I feel like there was a little bit of effort into her design. I don't know, but yeah, this is an interesting, not what I expected, setting. Why D. Gray Man? Does anybody know what's happening in D. Gray Man anymore, by the way? <laughs> Since the author puts out, like, two chapters a year, I have not been able to keep up with what the fuck is going on. I don't know. Just have a classic Godzilla situation. Storming... Th oh, you get little ones? Yeah. Oh, Sachan, what the fuck? Big-ass lizard storming through the city, smashing buildings. Okay, you do that. Okay, she'll go be the scout. Where are your glasses, by the way? I guess she got them. All right, the entire village is going to go out there to hunt too. So yeah, I don't I'm I'm curious about the secretary for some reason. Maybe I'm overthinking things. Oh shit. Whoa. Those eyes. You got good teammates, buddy, so it's okay. Is this Pokemon Sword and Shield? Is this what it's going to be like? 
It's just not even Pokemon anymore. We just fucking hack at them with axes and they turn into gold. Yeah. At the time I'm recording this, that's coming out in two days. So we'll see. Oh my god, they're getting obsessed. Monster Hunter, whatever you want to compare it to that's more applicable. Oh, and his. No, wouldn't his be a silver? Pretty fun designs for all these monsters, though. It's pretty cool. There's kind of a lot of effort put into all of these random monsters for just this one episode. Wow, look at that thing. Yeah, like, and they're apparently an Inuyasha reference, I guess. But yeah, there's a lot of them. So, like, they could have been lazy and, well, not lazy, but... You know, they didn't have to do this much. They could have just made, like, a couple. But there have been a lot of designs, and it's all for just this one-off. I assume it's going to be a one-off. All right, we're fighting, and we keep cutting to the secretary. Maybe she's a monster in disguise. Or she just has the ultimate greed, and she wants all the gold, and she has some plan to get it. Maybe she's the villain. They are fucking obsessed. Their eyes are red. You'd think they'd be green with envy. Well, it's not... It's not... Ne whatever. <laughs> nice. Not to attack! Yeah, like the big guy. Nothing like the spirit of competition, though, to, to get the job done. Like, they've done very well. <laughs> Greed can be a, a very motivating factor. There's the damn secretary again. If she turns out to be something, like, important, I'm going to be proud of myself. Because just for no reason, I just liked her character design and was like, hmm, I feel like there's something more to her. I don't know. It's, like, generic enough to where you could see her not really being that important, but there's, like, that extra little bit to it that makes it seem like she might have a little more to offer than you may think. Just, like, this, this it's not quite generic. Like just the eye shape, the hair swirl. It's, like, a little extra. What's up with this man? He's Orochi, but with the chin. Like the penis. Did we do it? I, I can't imagine so. There's got to be something else. Or was he just fake? Was it a fake? Was it a trap? Was this all a trap by the secretary? What the hell's happening? It's absorbing their bloodlust. What's up with his eyes? What did it just do? Where is it going? Is it going to the secretary? Fuck yeah. See? Shit, man. Uh, you know, I don't know everything. I just know what I know. What just happened, though? What what was that? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Subscribe. Why is it playing this, like, peaceful music? What is this music? Okay. Sure, want it to be exciting. That's not true at all. I would rather avoid lines. Okay, cool. Are we going to keep up with this music? Seems ill-fitting. Unless she's like a peaceful monster. What the fuck? Ah! Ah! What's happening? What? What the fuck is going on? Why did she just become a baby? Oh, what? Is she a giant chicken? She's a phoenix. Awesome. It's ho -Oh. Or a fox. Or whoever. That's cool. What the hell? What is happening? So this is not like an evil thing, maybe? See, I, I knew it. I called it. So yeah, she's like just a gentle phoenix creature, so... 
I guess we're... Is that the end of the episode? Like, are we done? Did we do it? Oh, she's just gonna leave. Okay. That was bizarre. That's fucking weird. Okay. Huh. Bye. There's no way the episode can be over. Right? I don't know how much time is left. I could check, but I don't want to. Who the fuck is George? Is that like Johnny and Maxwell? <laughs> Classic. That's not the end. Okay. I knew it couldn't be. I was like, that was not a whole episode. Plus, I forgot about her. Pork. Pig. Mm. Touchy subject. That's what it was. Yeah. Well, pissing you off and being reliable, you know. Those are not mutually exclusive. Eh, yeah, she's fine. Oh, Kimiko? Okay, sure. Him. Whatever. Oh yeah, totally. Good that uh, the rehab worked out, though. Oh? Do we know this boyfriend, or is it a new character? He called her Hamako again. Tasuke? Maybe he's just in the bathroom, and he can't wipe. It happens. Some people run out of toilet paper and then they die in there. Well, that's good. Oh my god, hello. Nice afro. Yeah, you can't just walk out of that kind of business. Shit, they found him. Sorry, buddy. Uh, he's in pretty immediate danger. Maybe they'll capture him for now. Got an elephant guy. I like the designs for them, too. This guy's pretty cool. With the, the cloak and the metal thing. You're just gonna rip that shit out? You gotta question him. Uh, ow. Somebody's gonna save him? Okay, yeah. They'll have to get there quickly, but I was pretty sure he wasn't just gonna die. Nice! Things were going okay. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> he just immediately said, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> just pull me up. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> That's where he differs from somebody like Luffy. If somebody gives Luffy food, that makes them friends, so he would help her. (laughs) 
So what happened to the rest of the bad guys? <laughs> They're just watching this like, what the fuck is happening over here? Ah! Uh, what? What was it? What came out of your ass? This is a fucking travesty. <laughs> As always. They were just standing around like, can you even believe this shit? They're fucking themselves over. We don't have to do anything. Only in Gintama. Does something that simple go that badly? All right, fight time. Nice. See, this is all you had to do. This is all you had to do. <laughs> don't, don't fall for him. There's a just away. It's fucking everywhere. Oh, it's not even your real hair. What is? What does it look like underneath? Ah, what? That's where you hit it. He was just a bald guy, and he just put it right. All right. He looks fucking stupid. <laughs> he actually took it. Maybe he had other intentions. Maybe it's not as bad as it may seem. Maybe he'll redeem himself here. Oh, he actually did. Never mind, he's an asshole. I mean, Gintoki and them did the same thing, but it's fine when they did it. He's her boyfriend. Dick move. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a shit. Oh, that pissed Gintoki off. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Give us the drugs. We will take them. Maybe they won't call her ham anymore. Now that they've seen the true pigs. <laughs> still, still an asshole to her, though. <laughs> Where's Shinpachi? There you go. I knew somebody was going to do something like that. Best thing would be like flushing it down a toilet entirely, but that works. This fucking guy. I mean, I guess you could. Jesus, the harsh. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. That's weird. You should they throw him in the river. Anyway, Tasuke deserves nothing. <laughs> you don't deserve Kimiko's love. Damn it. So is that it? All right. Let's uh, just get a tiny little glimpse of the preview. Otai is asleep. Oh, that guy. Was that the guy from the Devas? Matsudaira. Okay. Um, yeah, that told me nothing. I didn't read it. I just saw some characters who will be in it. So let's talk about that one. All right. Episode 82. A very simple, goofy, one-off episode, which I assumed it would be. A two-parter even, so even simpler, shorter little stories, which is nice after a longer arc, the longest that we've had so far. Something immediately after that that's just very easily just kind of throw away. Have them go do this little thing. It'll be a fun, enjoyable enough little time. A little cool down after that arc. Not like a great episode or anything, but it was fun. It was enjoyable enough for what it was and it went by really fast. We had two different stories that didn't overstay their welcomes or anything. They had some cool aspects to them, some cool designs specifically. I remember when the Harusame first showed up at the beginning of the show, 
in that, I don't know if it was an arc, it might have only been one episode, maybe two, but I guess it was just the one. Um, remember, I remember thinking that some of those Amanto had interesting designs. And so when you get that girl coming back, it's really cool. Having a throwback like that, I've said that before, you could have just made that some random new character who needed help, but having it be a callback to somebody that we haven't seen in a very, very long time makes it feel a little more interesting and a little more relevant. And so seeing some of those guys again, some good designs as well. I like the elephant guy. I like the main guy with the metal piece on his head. And then during the first half as well, all of those monsters were cool. They didn't have to do that many. They could have just had it be like a couple, one big monster, but there were quite a few of them and they looked pretty cool. Some of them were references. Some of them were just unique looking designs. Uh, I enjoyed that. And uh, I did like the first half better, I would say. Both were pretty simple, but I enjoyed the first one more, mostly just because of the secretary thing. <laughs> I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on that in the comments. Like, did you think anything of the secretary? Like, after a little bit, you have to know something is going on with her because it keeps cutting back to her and showing, like, a reaction shots. So at some point, you know, okay, something is up with this lady. But I don't know what it was. I just immediately was like, huh, I kind of like her design. Like I said in the reaction, there was just enough to her design to stand out a little bit. It was simple enough to kind of stay under the radar and maybe not draw your attention entirely and spoil things, but it had enough to it that I, it caught my attention. And so I started theorizing about what could be going on with her, and I was kind of right. And I, I liked the way that whole thing played out with her, and I thought she would be a villain, though. I thought she'd be a big, giant monster who'd want to destroy things, and I was wrong. And this nice, peaceful music is playing. I'm like, what the hell's happening with the music? <laughs> and then she just turns into... Uh, Moltres, and that's what I was looking for in the reaction. I said ho-ho, and I was thinking of other shit, I was like, who am I really thinking of? And I just forgot about Moltres, but yeah, she just turns into that and is like, okay, bye, and she leaves. And it's like, what? <laughs> it's one of those things that just kind of happens, and it's like, oh, all right. Like, all the gold turned into soil, which I figured something like that would happen. She just turned into a big phoenix and then just left. Huh. Guess we'll just go about the rest of our day then, you know? It's like, what was this even about? <laughs> it just sort of happened and uh, it was weird, but it, it was fun. Um, just the greed, the red eyes from everybody just getting so into this, just the idea that he called them all there. Then when he found out that they turn into little golden balls, he turned them all away so that they could get it for themselves. That was fun. And then we get Kimiko and all of the insults being thrown at her constantly, which is pretty funny. This guy in his ridiculous afro, and then he looked even worse, bald, really didn't deserve her at all. He was an ass. It's funny when they're being assholes <laughs> and they're just gonna leave. Like, we don't have an escape plan for carrying two pigs with us. And then that thing gets botched, as it always does with Gintama. They're pulling off something that should be so simple, just pulling him up by the rope. And then it becomes a total clusterfuck where they're pulling and they're grabbing onto him and Kagura's on him and they're talking about all the shit spilling out of him and then something comes out of his ass and it's just like, how did, how did we get here? All you had to do was pull him up. And then all they really had to do was fight him off because that was really easy too. And then he was trying to ditch her. I was only dating you because you're rich. He totally doesn't deserve her. She should dump his ass. I'm the only one who will take after a guy like him. Well, yeah, he doesn't deserve it. And then they have like a motherly relationship with him. That's just bizarre. Should just throw him in the trash. Don't don't stick with him. I don't know if we'll ever see her again and if she'll still be with him, but I don't think you should be. <laughs> Find somebody who won't make fun of you <laughs> the way these guys do so much. I was wondering if maybe they would ease off after they were like, oh, we now see who the real pigs are. They were still mean. Like, oh, is it because you'll never find another boyfriend ever again? And all that kind of stuff. They, they were pretty relentless still. But yeah, like I said, it was a very simple one. Very much just kind of a throw it on, after work, relax type episode. I mean, a lot of Gintama episodes are really ridiculous and goofy and just enjoyable and fun to watch. But there are some where you don't have to pay much attention at all. You know, it would more apply if you were like in Japan and you didn't have to read subtitles and you just turn it on on the TV or whatever, but you know what I mean. The kind of episode that you kind of throw on in the background and sort of pay attention to and like, oh yeah, that was fun enough to occupy my time. Um, it was it was a fun little simple one. 
We saw Prince Hata for the first time in quite a while, other than the jokes in, in the recap episode. And I guess he's gonna go be in D. Gray Man. Is that because of the Millennium Earl is fat and he's fat? I don't even know which one of them said that, but either way, I don't know. They're gonna go to D. Gray Man now. Sachan was there too, I actually forgot until just now because she didn't really do much. Could have easily not been there at all, now that I think about it. I doubt we'll ever see Orochin, the phoenix, again, but it'd be cool because she looked cool too. I like that design as well. As for standing in line, no, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree on that one. I guess I get where you're coming from, like the weight, the anticipation, the build-up makes it more satisfying when you get it. Like, yeah, I put in some effort to get this. I had to stand in this line and it's finally here and I did it. But no, if I had to choose, I will choose not to wait in line. I go to the store and I go to the self-checkout. Try to finish things as quickly as possible. I'm not gonna waste my time. I got shit to do. I got anime to watch. I'm not gonna stand in lines. So yeah, simple, fun little thing, followed by a even more simple, like the second half is like one of the most simple stories Gintama's ever told. Possibly the very most simple, like, guy was in trouble. They saved him. There's really not much to it other than that, but it was just a short little serviceable, fun little thing. Hamuko's involvement <laughs> um, added a little bit more to it since we had seen her before. And it was funny, you know, just our cast being their usual ridiculous selves. So yeah, there's not really much to say. I've kind of tried to stretch as much as I can out of the discussion, but you know, it was simple. So let me know your thoughts on this two-parter how you felt about each half. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more, check out the stuff linked down in the description below, such as Patreon. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.